the city that is, was promising for this Olympic torch run. The torch run will travel 80,000 miles, I believe it is, um, 20 countries, five continents. Its next stop is in Buenos Aires in Argentina, where protesters there have said that they have planned some big surprises for that as well. And as there. you can see by our, our live shot from Chopper 11, traffic is stopped on the other side. This is going to be a big mess. We've got a, you know, a Giants game tonight at 715. Things are going to be pretty hairy around there as well, and all the protesters out and probably scurrying about trying to find where these torch runners yeah, are at this point. Really we are. know where they are, but uh, the rest of those protesters, protesters at this point not trying to, you know, trying to make a last-minute dash. And the symbolism of this run and really what they're going to be doing when the lantern, uh, when the torch begins, is that the flame must never go out during its entire journey around the world. Uh, just in case, it's carried by a lantern right behind or an urn. It's fueled by benzene. Um, and um, we have some police movement here um, as it makes its journey. The torch attendant uses a special key to actually turn the gas in the first torch, and then they do the same thing repeated as they go from torch bearer to torch bearer. Here, Jessica, the cops on foot and also on the motorcycles. Garvin Thomas has the latest for us as well. Garvin, what do you know? here along the Embarcadero. I want to show you our picture, our vantage point from up here looking back towards AT&T Park. You see thousands of people just streaming down the Embarcadero. Of course, thousands of people who thought at one point today they were going to get to see the torch, and it doesn't look like that's the case. Uh, Jessica, you were earlier talking about some of the disappointment. Uh, I can't wait till we're done up here. We can get down there in the crowd and just find out what some people think. Hey, uh, Garvin, about we just want to interrupt you that the torch sure. run has begun. The two torch bearers holding that torch have started their small jaunt. They're going down the Ness. Um, obviously, it's not taking the route of the Embarcadero where you are at this point. Traveling down Van Ness, headed toward um, Broadway right now. Where it will go on its journey in Van Ness um, is unclear. It's going to make a couple of stops because every couple of blocks is going to have to stop so that two new torch runners, at least that's what we expect at this point, can take over for the others. And it looks like they've already stopped. Just racing to Van Ness right now. Some of the torch runners that we understand, as in former Mayor Willie Brown, has been told to just go to the uh, Justin Herman Plaza for the closing ceremony. So a lot of the torch runners may lose out on this opportunity at this point. 77 at this point are right. left. 77 right. are point. Varied people from all walks of life, um, from different areas in the Bay Area, from Sunnyvale, Sacramento, Alameda, um, many different people um, who wrote essays to be able to have the honor of running with the torch. And the run has uh, begun once again. You can see at the bottom of your screen uh, two torch runners, the torch camera, two torch runners ready to uh, have that torch or that flame be handed off to them. So you're right, it's just about a block and a half, so not much of a, a, you know, a route for some of these torch runners. And so the torch is officially running. At first it was a torch drive. Now it has turned into a torch relay. Um, and just as we had... Uh, been told there is the grouping of police officers on bicycles, police officers running alongside the torch, and then the motorcycle police officers. They just crossed California, um, still headed up toward Broadway. And I think they're going to have the handoff in the next minute or two. We mm -hmm. see two of the torch It wouldn't make sense since they've gone about a block and a half. Right. Um, and imagine being these people up and down Van Ness who had no idea today that they were going to be the ones to witness um, really uh, Olympic history and history here uh, for the, to, to be part right of now. the only North American stop. Nowhere near the route. And they're the ones that are participating in this Olympic event. Now we've got two new torch runners with the flame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. I mean, uh, look at the sparse crowd on Venice. Of, of course, they never imagined, or the spectators or protesters, for that matter, never imagined it be going down this route. But uh, as we had mentioned earlier, ne Ga uh, sorry, Mayor Gavin Newsom um, did not want a repeat of what happened in London and Paris. So not a lot of fanfare with this Olympic torch run. But uh, but so said. far so good in mm -hmm. terms of any disruptions uh, for the torch bearers. And the protests today have been mostly peaceful, some skirmishes, some pushing and shoving here and there. But uh, certainly not what we saw in Europe. Right. Now, the group, as Lisa was saying, the group that's running with them are members picked from the 